It seems like there's a demand for these real small format switchers. Today we have with us the AV Matrix VS0601. It is a, as you can see, very small um, switcher with a control surface on it. And it's a six input switcher. Four of those are SDI, two of those are HDMI, and then it has SDI and HDMI out and multi-viewer. And it's a nice little compact, uh, inexpensive, low latency switcher. However, in today's climate, it seems like everybody's streaming and a small format switcher that doesn't stream um, leaves something to be desired, namely a way of getting these things to the internet. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you three different layouts or combinations of gear that will help you take a compact, inexpensive switcher and turn it into a live streaming super switcher. The first of these, and my favorite, is what I'm going to call the mobile live wireless LTE battery powered combination. So the AV Matrix control surface slash switcher here is being powered by this V mount battery, which has a D tap to regular battery, um, regular 12 volt uh, connection cable. So it is being run off of this. V-mount battery, and then we also have our monitor runoff battery, and then we have a Kiloview uh, N2, which is going to be our streaming box in this case. And I have a laptop to show you a little bit about the N2 in this scenario, but you don't necessarily need a laptop, but if you do, it's battery powered. So all the devices here are running off battery, except in this case, our cameras are not, but you'll have to imagine that in your case, the cameras are battery powered. So we've got uh, four devices coming in. We've got the output of the laptop. We have the two cameras. We've got one HDMI from the ADA HD100. We have one SDI from the ADA UHD uh, 6G200. And then we have the uh, an SDI coming from our PTZ camera, which is covering our layout here. So we're taking the output of the switcher, which we can use to switch between our different inputs in program and preview, do dissolves, um, run transitions, manage our audio, uh, auto and cut. And then the output of that is running via HDMI into the N20. Now we have the N20 can be set up for connection in three different ways. Um, the N20 is a battery powered NDI HX encoder, but it also streams. So it's capable of doing RTMP over wired, wireless, or in this case, we have a little um, LTE USB device that we're gonna plug into it. So those are our three choices for distribution. So let's take a closer look at what setting up output for the uh, N2 is like. This is the UI for the N2. It's uh, pretty intuitive. It got a little display, it shows you what's um, coming in via video. And uh, down here is where the stream is and we can just go in here and add a stream. Um, we have some options. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna add RTMP since we're gonna be going to Facebook. Um, so click okay and now I can scroll down and we have our RTMP pushing. Click on here and I can go in uh, here's my push point, which I got out of um, Facebook. And if I want to start it, I just click yes. I don't have any of this other stuff, so I'm going to save it and return. And we can see it's going. And if we hop over here, we can see that we are, in fact, streaming um, to Facebook from the N2 using the AV Matrix VS0601. So if I make a transition or I wanna bring up, um, let's see, the, the UI um, of the computer here, um, I can bring that up. So whatever it is that I'm bringing into the VS0601 is what's going live to Facebook right now, wirelessly and battery powered. In this next scenario, we're going to connect the output of the AV Matrix 0601 via a USB capture device to a laptop running vMix, and then we'll use vMix to stream it. So we're going to attach the HDMI output on one end, and then we're going to attach our USB connection over here, and then we'll hop into vMix and go to add input, camera, and then we'll see it in our dropdown, click OK. And now we have 
our output from the VSO601. So whatever we punch up there will appear here. And if we want to use titles, uh, another advantage to using vMix as the um, capture and streaming device here is that we can bring in vMix titles, or we can use something like New Blue Effects. So New Blue Effects uh, has a whole suite of amazing titles that can be data-driven. You can bring in uh, spreadsheets and presentation data, sports scoreboards, uh, social media, and you can create um, much more compelling titles and graphics so if I wanted to bring in a really nifty template or sports score, or even layer several of these things together um, via multiple channels of NDI running all on the same system. And then we pop into the um, setup here and we can go and stream directly to Facebook or YouTube or any of these uh, other destinations, or of course, custom RTMP server to your own preferred CDN. So for our last configuration, we're going to take the AV matrix VSO601 uh, out to the internet via the Kiloview E2. It's uh, not battery powered, it's not wireless, but it's very simple. It does SRT, RTMP, and NDI. So if you want to use this to make a contribution to a larger system of switchers or utilize NDI as uh, an infrastructure, uh, SRT from point to point, or RTMP, of course, to Facebook, YouTube, uh, et cetera. Uh, it's very similar to the N2, except for not being uh, portable or wireless the way that it is. But um, it's fairly inexpensive and it makes a perfect companion to the AV matrix. So let's take a look at how the two work together. So here's the UI for the E2. It's very similar to the N2. Um, we've got uh, our mainstream encoding. We've got a little video that shows us what's, uh, what's going out live right now coming in via HDMI. So if I wanted to bring up our you know, main camera shot, it's just gonna give us little snapshots to let us know what's going on. Uh, NDI is on by default. I've already set up um, SRT. So if I come in here, I can see the settings for SRT, which I'll uh, connect to that in vMix in a second, though it's not really meant for local area or contribution. It's great for distribution point to point over uh, large distances. Um, but I also wanna set up our RTMP to Facebook. Now, because I'm doing both a high res and a low res at the same time, I'm going to do a mainstream and a substream. So the mainstream right now is a high resolution, high bit rate uh, file, which is going out via NDI, uh, NDI HX and SRT. But my substream is going to be a lower bit rate, lower quality uh, 720 stream that we're going to send to Facebook. So we're going to add a stream. I'm going to pick RTMP this time and go and configure it. So down at the bottom here, we just click this little button here and I'm gonna grab my two pieces of data that I need. Oh, it's already there. Um, so this is my uh, combination of, of um, URL. My push point is my URL and stream key. I'm gonna enable pushing, which is going to start it when I save. So it is beginning to stream via Facebook. So let's pop over to vMix and in here we can see our NDI stream and um, right now uh, I've got a direct connection from the output of the switcher into vMix via NDI and then I can also bring in the SRT stream even though uh, SRT is mainly a um, distribution format we can bring it in just to demonstrate that it's possible and I can show you SRT of vMix side by side with NDI. You can see there's a little bit of difference in latency, but that's actually um, an important difference between NDI and SRT is that NDI is meant to be a contribution format within a facility and SRT is meant to be between facilities. So that's the AV Matrix VSO601 uh, in conjunction with a variety of other products to help you get live and streaming on the internet. If you have any questions about the AV Matrix or any of the products that you've seen working with it, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at usbroadcast.co. Thanks for watching.